The day Merry Tuba Christmas has been a tradition in Baltimore for 35 years. Yes, indeed. And joining us now is Kurt to discuss it. Kurt, I can't say your last name because I'm worried I'm going to say it wrong. So will you please say it? I'm sorry. <laughs> No problem. I'm Kurt Kendelis, and a Merry Tuba Christmas to you. Merry, Merry Tuba, Tuba Christmas. Christmas to I would have you. messed it up, so I'm, I'm so glad you handled that. But we're so excited about this event, and I love how kind of, not last minute isn't the right word, but um, you're in the moment, you just sign up, and then you rehearse for a little bit, and then play. Tell us more about it. Exactly. Uh, there are going to be uh, performers coming from all over Maryland and even all over the country coming out to perform at uh, Baltimore's 35th annual Merry Tuba Christmas today. Uh, registration has begun online and people can come to the Science Center to sign up uh, in person and we will be rehearsing at the Science Center right before the concert at 3.30 p.m. over at the Harbor Place Amphitheater. Now is this open to people of all ages? Oh yes, very definitely. Uh, in the past I've seen children as young as seven or eight come out and perform with us, barely bigger than the tuba that they'd be playing. Right. Uh, and I've also seen some people as old as 89 or 90 wow. come out and join us for the performance. That's awesome. And there's no yeah. pressure because you're saying, I mean, you, you get there at 1.30, you've got a quick practice, and then, I mean, it's showtime, <laughs> 3.30. There's no pressure, yep. right? I mean, everyone kind of knows what they're doing. Exactly, exactly. We've, we've got the music from last year or the year before, or we pick it up right there at the day of. We all get together, an hour's worth of performance uh, off of an hour's worth of rehearsal. Very cool. And Kurt, you said you've been doing it for about 12 years. About how many musicians show up each year? Usually it's between two and 300. Wow. What? That's amazing. Yep. And you're saying this is a national event. They have uh, different Merry Tuba Christmases all over the country? Not only all over the country, all over the world. Oh. Uh, I'm aware of at least two different tuba Christmases in Australia. Oh, wow. Uh, and there are a few others in the, uh, the islands just south. Uh, we've got tuba Christmases almost in every state. Wow. Well, awesome. Looking forward to hearing you guys at 3.30 today. Thanks so much for joining us Excellent. this morning. Thank you, Kurt. Merry Tuba Happy Christmas. Happy too, and a Merry Tuba Christmas to you. <laughs> that's great. It's time Christmas, just four days away. Yes. Merry Tuba Christmas. It's a holiday concert that's been performed in Baltimore for decades, and this year's performance is this afternoon. Very exciting. So we are live now with Kurt. Good morning, Kurt. Good morning and a Merry Tuba Christmas to you. Yes. yes, Merry Tuba Christmas to you. We love that you're joining us nice and early. So tell us what this event is all about. Well, Tuba Christmas is just getting the, uh, the joy of the season out to everyone with a low brass choir. Awesome. <clears throat> and during that break, we, we were talking, you were saying just anybody can come out? Anybody who plays one of the tuba, euphonium, baritone, or sousaphones can feel free to come out and register at the Maryland Science Center at 1.30 today. And how long has this we event usually been have, around? Oh, uh, Tuba Christmas has been going nationwide for the past 46 years. This year's the Baltimore's 35th annual. Got it. And how long have you been partaking? Uh, personally, off and on for the past 12 years or so. Oh, so you must like it. Tell us what you love about this event. Best thing for me about this event is getting together with so many other musicians and uh, playing for everyone who comes out to see it. The first notes of uh, the first notes of the the concert spreading out across the harbor. It's a beautiful sound. You're hit with a wall of sound. Ooh, a wall of sound. Okay, like now that. we were talking during the break, you and I, Kurt, a little. You like that just anybody can come out and, and you know, you bring your instrument, you show up. How do you guys like practice for this? Well, we rehearse about an hour and a half before the, the 3 30 p.m. concert, and we all get together in a room and we run through the songs we play, and that's it. Oh, I mean, the pressure's on there, but I guess you guys <laughs> have all played before, you know, so it's nothing new to you guys. <laughs> 
Yep, fairly experienced musicians, most of us, but I have seen people as young as seven or eight years old come out and perform with us. Wow, wow. That, and mm -hmm. what's the feedback from the audience usually like? Oh, my goodness, they love it. Yeah, oh, everyone course. at the Inner Harbor stops by and listens. Uh, the people at the nearby shops will poke their heads out and Aww. listen in to the songs and watch what we're doing. Love that. It's a lot of fun. Give us the details. Uh, where can people, if they want to join in, where can they sign up? If they want to just come and partake, what time? Of course, of course. Registration begins at the Maryland Science Center at 1.30 this afternoon uh, with rehearsals soon to follow afterwards. And the actual performance is at 3.30 p.m. at the Harbor Place Amphitheater. I see you've got your instrument there. You want to give us a preview? Not no. today. <laughs> it's no, still no. a bit no. frozen. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just That's kidding. fine. We'll, we'll wait until 3.30. Thanks yes. so much for joining us today, Excellent. Kurt. Thank you.